So we were saying earlier that you get a default VPC for every single region. And the idea behind that is so that you can immediately launch EC2 instances without having to really think about um, all the networking stuff you have to set up. Uh, but for AWS certification, we do need to know what is going on. And it's not just a default VPC. It comes with other things and with specific configurations. And we definitely need to know that for the exams. So the first thing is it creates a VPC of CIDR block size 16. Um, we're going to also get default subnets with it. So for every single AZ in that region, we're going to get a subnet uh, per AZ. And they're going to be a CIDR block size 20. Um, it's going to create an internet gateway and connect it to your default VPC. So that means that our uh, EC2 instances can reach the internet. It's going to come with a default security group and associate with your default VPC. So if you launch an EC2 instance, it will automatically uh, or default to this security group unless you override it. Uh, it will also come with, uh, by, uh, by default, a NACL and associate that with your VPC. It will also uh, default a DHCP options. Uh, one thing that it's implied is that you it comes with a main route table. Okay, so when you create a VPC, it automatically comes with a, uh, a main route table. So I would assume that that comes by default as well. So there are all the defaults for you. 